Earthbound is a game about being a kid and looking detachedly at a strange and goofy world of adults. There are very few interactions with cool adults, so in one instance you have to free a band called the Runaway Five from this huge debt they owe to the owner of the theater. The band owes like $10,000 and the owner is super shady and manipulative and says that he'll make them work forever. So if you pay their debt and then ride with them in their van to the next city, they've already signed an even worse record deal immediately and owe $1 million. <laughs> Earthbound goes to length to make every adult either a jerk or very inept. The police, like in real life, are hostile and corrupt. There's cults and these weird academic clubs where people tell you they're pretending to have intellectual conversations. Earthbound has a really excellent sense of humor and it knows well what it means to be a kid where everything in your world is silly, intended or not. There are plenty of boogers and vomits and farts, but there's also these three brothers, Pancho Sanchez, Pincho Sanchez, and Thomas Jefferson. There's this hilarious set piece where there's five moles scattered underground and you have to find and defeat all five. The first mole introduces himself saying, I believe I'm the third strongest among us. The next mole you go to fight says, I'm really the third strongest among us. You defeat them and go to the next and the third mole says, my strength falls somewhere between the second and uh, fourth strongest masters. You defeat them and move on and the next mole says, I'm the true third strongest master of this hole. Finally you defeat those four and go on to the last mole and the last mole approaches you and says, ha ha ha. You fought the strongest master of this hole, the second strongest master, the fourth strongest master of this hole, and the weakest member of this hole. I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. Now you see the true advantage of being third. I was laughing so much playing this part. There's also this tremendously dark part where one party member of yours, Pooh, has to train. It's very silly and goofy and you climb to the top and close your eyes to begin to meditate and a spirit comes down and begins speaking with you. I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete this trial, I'm going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? You cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off and feed them to the crows. Do you accept this? Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now, I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? So, no legs, no arms, no sound. I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? Now I can only communicate with your mind. In the end, I will take your mind, though probably you don't want to allow that, do you? So you can't even answer, you can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you lose feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? This time you're not even given a choice. And the goofy music cuts back in and whoops, training done. What the fuck is this? It's insane. This is a kid's game and it's fucking freaky. So very dark segments like that and for all the jerks aside, eventually midpoint through the game, you find a village that's filled only with pure, unadulterated kindness and innocence. It's Saturn Valley. It's inhabited by these little pig aliens all called Mr. Saturn. The first one you meet says, we feel groove, hi ho, me Mr. Saturn. This place, all are Mr. Saturn. I really think there's a lot to be said for them. They speak sparsely and in the silly font, but most things they say are really engaging and stand in diametric opposition to anyone else you meet. The normal shop theme when you go to buy something is called, buy something, will ya? In Saturn Valley, if you go to buy something and change your mind and decide not to, the Mr. Saturn in the store says, if you're not gonna buy, hmm, don't buy, zoom. In most cities, to heal yourself, you take yourself to a hospital or doctor, and they're always really quick to make sure you have enough to cover the fee. Otherwise, you're turned away at the door. It's a very distinctly American environment, and it would be a very funny punchline if it wasn't very real. In Saturn Valley, you're healed by a little doctor in a trash can. He says, I'm Mr. Saturn, zoom, and I can repair your body, boing. Do you want me to operate on you, ding? You all fixed up, goody, boing. 
It's free. They're a little odd, but they tend to you for free and let you sleep on their weird couch for free. It's the only place in the game, really, that you can do that. They say KO instead of OK. They're very silly. If you do fall asleep here, the Mr. Insider says KO, healthful and dandy. If you refuse, you are met with absolutely no hostility. They just say, are you KO? If you all right, that's great. Zoom. The plot of this little town is that a few Mr. Saturns have gone missing. They're being forced to work in a factory by a pile of throw up. That's not a joke. <laughs> and you free them. One Mr. Saturn says, once upon a time we were many. Every day slowly are less less. Why? Hmm. Boing. It's actually quite sad because they literally can't envision that any creature would set out to harm them, so they're just sad seeing their friends go missing. To get into the factory, you need to say the secret password by the waterfall, which is actually not a password. You just have to sit silently for three minutes straight. That's their password they came up with. It's so like goofy and hilarious. I love that that's their password. The last Mr. Saturn I have to mention is this one, who says, We look like same. It seems quite strange, because in fact, you're probably the only ones in the whole town who don't look like every single other character here. But don't forget what the very first Saturn told you when you walked in. We feel groove. We look quite different from them, but we are identical in our infallible ability to be nice and to pay the Runaway Five's debt again and to laugh at these moles. Probably, as we get older, we get better at doing things, but worsen in our ability to be kind and laugh at our strange world. And yet, there's nothing stopping us from entering or returning to Saturn Valley. And when we do, we're an ideological identical company. After all, this place, all are Mr. Saturn. Thank you as always for watching.